Welcome back, everybody. Let's play Sonic Adventure 2. We're starting the final story. This is where shit gets real. We join Robotnik at the end of the two stories, where he tried to fire the cannon, but it backfired. And now he awkwardly points his right arm at this computer and sees a picture of his grandfather. Oh dear god, there's something greater going on here that we never could have imagined. What's that? That vibration? Hey, wait. Someone is coming. You... You haven't given up yet? It's all over for us. What do you mean? I just received a message from my boss. This space colony arc is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. Those two are so fucking bow-legged. Like, holy shit. Maybe because their shoes are, like, so fucking large. This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the space colony arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed, along with your beloved planet Earth. Alright, there's Once subtitles now, so I feel comfortable talking again. Once I initiate this program, it cannot be disabled. All of you ungrateful humans who took everything away from me will feel my loss. So we're learning more now about Robotnik's grandfather who created Shadow and the whole issue with no. Shadow and Maria Daddy, and everything that's been alluded to throughout the game. The vibration's getting worse. Professor Gerald Robotnik, one of the greatest scientific minds in the world, and my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else... I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? You're still alive. <laughs> Just letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here. Was you know, I look at how awkward these animations are, and I'm not really sure if it's bad animation or if it's that the characters have such awkward proportions that everything they do just looks strange. Like their feet are as big as their head and their hands. And then they just have like this tiny little body. What happened or what went wrong? Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter... I think that's Maria, just the main problem with safe. the story of these Dreamcast games, where they're really trying to take themselves seriously, but you have these cartoony characters that are just meant to be silly. Like, honestly, if I could compare the Sonic the Hedgehog characters to something earlier, it'd be Disney characters. Because they're anthropomorphic animals, and they all wear gloves. So, you take you take these small animal creatures who you've always associated with, and the Warner Brothers cartoons as well, are typically smaller animals in zany situations that you're not really supposed to take seriously. Like, it's like taking Mickey Mouse and giving him a sword and putting him in a cloak and expecting him to be a serious character. <laughs> oh wait, they did that. My mistake. I hate video games. Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind to be perfect, pure. I would leave everything to him. So... He talks about Project Shadow, which he seems to have created after this incident happens. So I think he's referring to the Bio Lizard. I think he had created Shadow the Hedgehog previously, 
and then after the incident, he created the Bio Lizard, which was the picture that we saw in the Dark Side story, where Rouge was like, if you're Shadow, then how come you look nothing like this picture? So yeah, now we're all gonna team up and stop the space colony. Let's work with this mad scientist who is entirely the reason all of this started to begin with, instead of locking them in some sort of prison on the space colony and then doing it ourselves. That seems like a good idea. Rouge recalls the conversation Knuckles had with her when he said that the Master Emerald can stop the Chaos Emeralds. It can neutralize them. The Master Emerald can apparently be resized at will. I guess the emeralds can just fly around themselves. Again, convenient emerald plot device. We should stare at this monitor longer. I would just like to stare at this monitor for a few more minutes. Wow. And that was a pointless shot of robotic. Okay. <laughs> you really should not go around telling girls that. Alright, so now, seven minutes into this LP, we are now actually in a stage. This is, as it says, the final actual stage, where the five characters we just saw are going to work together to make it to the center of the colony and stop the thing from doing the stuff. I hope you're excited, because I'm fucking pumped right now. Uh, I just skipped over it. I'll show you the next time I see one. Oh my god. These things are the most annoying thing to kill. Jesus Christ. Finally. The machine has reached its limit. If only I wasn't so foolish and brash to make a robot out of an airplane. Okay, this is like a time stopper thing. When you hit it, as you can see, it freezes time. And just, that's a mechanic that's unique to this level. I guess they thought that would be neat. Well, really? <sighs> Why would you shoot the little thingies around him and not him? Alright, let's go. Let's not lose all of our life to this fucking chaos thing over here, please. Good start. Jesus Christ. There we go. You know, I could probably just drop down here without taking this lift. Yeah, I imagine I can hover in these. If I die again, I'll try that out. Like I do here. Hey, that worked the way I wanted to this time. Okay. I really do need to see at some point during this game. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, that's what Tails and uh, Robotnik do. They uh, they have these security doors at the end of their level that you just have to blast open. And that's the Tails portion. Now we're gonna switch to our next character, who I think is Robotnik. You get the uh, the robot armor people out of the way, then the treasure hunters, and then Sonic goes last, if I remember correctly. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, kill it. Thank you. Oh god! I guess I kind of walked right into that. Um, yeah, there should be enough time in this episode to finish this stage, and then the next episode will be the finale, finishing up the game. This whole thing is just very cutscene intensive, and that's why it takes, it's gonna take two episodes. 
Which, compared to the rest of the story in this game, the final part isn't terrible. Like, I mean... We've learned of stuff about Shadow throughout the game that we're now gonna put into closure. Uh, you got the whole action set in motion 50 years ago that are now coming together today and our struggle to stop them, guys. I don't know. I mean, it's not the greatest plot development in the world, but it's infinitely better than anything we've seen in this game so far. Ah! Which is really weird, the way they handle Shadow, because they actually put a bit of an effort in designing this story, and then uh, decided to kill him and then not kill him. I mean, spoiler warning, uh... Oh, good, another one of these. I can get through that door? Holy shit, I didn't even know that. I kind of want to go back and try that now. Oh, shit. I think that's health. I kind of want that. There we go. Come on, shoot the right one. Oh, I remember this now. I think I know. I have to stop it at the right time to get up there, which is, damn it, I missed it. The two blocks kind of need to make stairs as they come across. Like that. There we go. Whoa, whoa, okay. And now we got another security door. And now we're going to move on to either Knuckles or Rouge. I don't remember which one. Alright, some Rouge the Bad action here. That's right, for some reason she's draining liquid out of something. I don't I don't really know what the I guess it's like core liquid. His core functions off of liquid. I guess. I don't I don't know. I've never built a core before. I can't really tell you that much. Where'd it go? Oh god. Get in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Settle down, Rouge. Damn it. Is that a... There's a Chow key in this level, wow. Alright, now I, I think I'm on the challenge here. I gotta get... I gotta use these switches to stop the waterfall like I did, which is a little less convenient than... Oh, fuck that up. <laughs> than I would like it to be. No! Did it. Come on, hit the switch. Oh my god. Thank you. Whew. And now Rouge drowns herself. For the good of the team. You are a brave soldier, Rouge. And we should have Nux now. KTE. Okay, yeah, this. Uh, okay, that's right. This is the level I was referring to earlier in the game, where I said if you don't get the air necklace, you can't beat it. And it doesn't tell you that. No! Did it. Um, I'll show you the part it gets to later when we get there, and I will show you why. It's even more frustrating than it sounds. I think we're actually going there now. Yeah, there's the door. Um, so yeah, you spend a lot of time underwater in this segment. So at this point, you'd start running out of air and wondering like, well, what was I supposed to do when I ran out of air? But there's bubbles in these rooms. Like, you can breathe these in for more air if you don't have the necklace, but even then, even then, it's still not enough to get you through this segment without... Okay, I think there's a there's a current in there, so we have to stop the time this one through. You cannot get through this segment without the necklace, but they still give you bubbles there, as if to say, like, oh, you could do it if you're fast enough. So instead of thinking, like, oh, I just missed an upgrade and I gotta go back and look for it, you're led to believe that you're just doing it wrong, and you keep trying and trying always to fail. It's very frustrating. And it happened on one of my playthroughs, like when I came back and did this and just didn't even remember there was an air necklace. I was just like trying over and over to do this without any possible way of doing so. 
Yeah, this is another one of those. There's a current in here, so you have to swim through it very, very fast. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Yep. I gotta hit that other switch before it starts again. Oh, I missed it. I'm trying to use the swim up mechanic to go faster. I think this is the fastest way to swim. I did it! And I think, yep, there's a switch. Uh, yeah, now we have the Sonic portion, and we're gonna finish this episode a little late, but I think we're making some good progress. If I didn't die as Tails, ugh. Sonic with some more impossible hand grinding. But yes, it is important to note that Shadow is not helping the team right now. This part sucks, because you think that you're supposed to jump down that pit. That's not the case. You kill this guy and go back. And uh, the other door opened over here. The Chow tells you that, but honestly, whoever listens to the goddamn Chow. Hit the guy I'm targeting. There we go. Fuck you, gold thing. I've got an agenda. Get the thank you. Oh, this part where it's like a, uh, it's like the temple level at the end of Sonic Adventure One. The whole inner colony is designed to look like this temple because they're cool like that. This is like just like the uh, the water slide at the end of that level. I can't remember what it's called. It's not. It's like hidden temple zone or something. And uh, this is the same music that plays. And there's the end of the level. Yes! We did it, guys. I'm going to stop this right here, and the next time we play, we're going to finish this game up. Until then. <laughs>